Hi, I'm Underbelly, and you suck at producing. Marcus Penis from the Gears of Wars and MasterChef from a series called Halo are two of the most iconic video game characters of all time. But what really gives these characters the unique musical vibe that really brings them to life? Well, in today's lesson, we're going to learn the mysterious scale behind both the Halo theme song and the music used in the trailer for the original Gears of Wars, arguably one of the most famous and iconic video game trailers of all time. Now, if you enjoy this completely unprecedented technique of getting people to learn music theory by baiting them with the only thing they seem to care about anymore, video games, feel free to hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications. And quick shout out to my patrons for making all of this possible. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so check it. Most of us are probably familiar with the C major scale, which is just the white keys from C to C. Okay, so we can sort of get the vibe there, but let's go ahead and double the C down an octave. Sounds so happy and jubilant, like Derek's first day of school. But why? Well, the reason is because C is our home or root note of the scale, and it sort of colors how we hear the rest of the notes on top. People hear music from the bottom up, hence why I doubled the C down an octave to reinforce the context for how to hear the rest of the notes. In this case, once again, it sounds very happy and jubilant. But let's go ahead and do this. Let's play the same major scale, except instead of starting on the first note, let's start out on the second note of the scale, in this case, D. Jesus, looks like Derek had to be sent home from school that same day because of his uncontrollable crying. Now here's the thing, D is now our home or root note of the scale, and as a result, we get a completely different vibe. Instead of sounding happy, jubilant, carefree, and boring, now the scale sounds sad, melancholy, but with a little bit of hope. The hope that maybe one day, Master Chef can defeat the Covenant. Oh, wowzers. That was the Halo theme song, and it's written in a scale called Dorian. We just found the Dorian scale by taking the C major scale, and once again, playing it off the second scale degree. We can find the relative Dorian of any other major scale by doing the exact same thing. So for example, if we have G major, we can find the relative Dorian just by playing the same set of keys except starting out on the second scale degree. So in this case, we would have A Dorian. Now that's one way of thinking about the Dorian scale, by relating it back to the major. But we can also relate it back to another scale we might be familiar with, the minor scale. Let's go ahead and play D minor. Okay, so it sounds very similar to Dorian, except it's just sad through and through. There's no hope there. Let's go ahead and compare that to D Dorian one more time. Okay, so you can see that one note changed here. The sixth note, in this case B flat, was raised half a step. So to turn any minor scale into Dorian, all you have to do is play the exact same set of notes, except take that sixth note and raise it a half step. Just to compare, let's go ahead and play the Halo theme song once more. Instead of in D Dorian, let's just try regular old D minor. 
Okay, so far so good. Oh, Jesus. Okay, looks like Master Chef isn't defeating the Covenant after all. So you can see that Dorian is super useful for creating that melancholy vibe, but having just that little bit of hope to see Master Chef through. Wowzers. Okay, so we saw how Master Chef did it. Let's go ahead and take a look at how Marcus Penis uses Dorian in the music for the iconic trailer of the original Gears of Wars. Okay, so this song is called Mad World, and it was originally written by 80s band Tears for Fears, and then covered by my man Gerald Jules for the movie Donnie Darko. Sounds like this. Okay, so you get the idea, all right? Now, this song is in the key of F Dorian. So here's the scale right here. And once again, we can get the F Dorian scale just by playing the regular old F minor scale. And taking that sixth note, in this case, D flat, and raising it a half step. Okay, wowzers. Now, while Master Chef was content to use Dorian in just the melody, Marcus Penis took it a step further and used it in the chords as well. And to understand this, let's go ahead and start by building a simple three note chord called a triad off of every single note in the F Dorian scale. So here we have the first triad here, regular old F minor, then we have G minor, a flat major, B flat major, C minor, D diminished, E flat major, back to F minor. Okay, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and compare that to the chords available to us in the regular old F minor scale. So, same chord, first one is F minor, then we have G diminished, A flat major, B flat minor, C minor, D flat major, E flat major, and then back to F. So you can see that there's a couple chords that changed there, but I want to pay attention to one in particular, and that is the four chord. Notice that in the F minor scale, the four chord is just minor here. So going from the one to the four would sound like this. Okay, now that's just sad all around. There's just no hope for Derek there. But if we go ahead and play that same chord progression in F Dorian, notice that the four chord in Dorian is major. So it sounds like this. Oh, Derek might have some hope after all. He could go to school today. Uh, no, turns out his horrible smell is just too bad for the other children to bear. So you can see how that 1 to 4 progression really changed. It really encapsulates that bittersweet quality that Dorian is known for. And in fact, Mad World actually opens with that chord progression. F minor, B flat major. Let's go ahead and compare, see what that sounds like if the track was actually written in regular old F minor. It would sound a little bit like this. Oh, Jesus. Oh my gosh, that's just so sad. Oh, Marcus Penis isn't gonna beat the horde after all. So we can see now that Dorian is extremely useful in creating that bittersweet vibe in both the melody and chords as well. Wowzers. Okay, so check it. Dorian is a great scale to use if you want to impart a moody, melancholy, but also somewhat hopeful vibe to your tracks. To get a wider sense of how this scale is used in popular music, I've included a link to a Spotify playlist curated by my friend Matt Donner at Pyramind that is composed entirely of famous songs written in Dorian. And if you like the content of this video and want to see more, feel free to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below. I'm Underbelly. Have a great day.